376. Stop already. You're killing me. Literally. <coughs> I think I'm done. I got a great night's sleep last night. It was like eight and a half hours and it's pretty much like a punch in the face. It's crazy how actually getting sleep is almost as painful as not getting sleep, at least for the first day, but we're gonna make a habit of it. And I'm looking forward to in the future really working on getting my timing down better, like scheduling sleep and actually getting sleep and uh, running more and a few things. So this break that's coming up is gonna be a nice little reset. And if you're only just now joining the vlog, I'm taking a break soon. <laughs> not yet, but soon. Scott, you want to be in my vlog for a second? Yeah, what's that? This is Scott. Scott. Scott's on my tour. He's also making a video. Do you, are you going to post the video online later? Uh, I wasn't, but maybe I will. Now. Okay, okay well, if, if Scott posts the video online, I'm going to make sure to link to it below just so that everybody gets a, an inside view of that. Good tour so far? Oh, it's excellent. It's a lot of fun. The bike's the best part. The size is gorgeous. It's enormous. You, can, you, don't, you just don't get the, uh, when you read about it, you can't get a perspective on the, the size until you get here. I'll, I'll give you that 20 later that we were talking about. <laughs> Cheap. Tour is going really well today. I decided to start my diet today, so I'm really hungry. Bye, Bianca. Hey. So I'm really hungry today, uh, suffering for that decision, but you know, so far so good. These guys look like they're having a great time on the cobblestones. That's really all I have to report. It's really interesting how you finally get a good night's sleep and you're just like, okay, I need one more of those and then I'll be back to normal. So tomorrow, I should be back to normal, theoretically. I guess we'll see. One of the things that I want to involve more in the vlog is, I'm not sure if I wanna, I decided, like I said, to go on my diet today. So I feel kind of like I should tell you guys what I'm doing for that. I'm still not quite as motivated as I, as I was last time I went on a diet. I, if you guys didn't know, I like what, a year and a half, two years ago, uh, I lost about 40 pounds over the course of four months, which was intense. Uh, it was really good, I needed to. I need to lose a little bit more. The question is, will I actually do it? And I feel like I'm finally motivated and ready to do it, but talking about it on the vlog kind of scares me more because what if I lose my motivation and what if I don't? follow through on it. But I've, I've obviously completed a lot of goals on the vlog, so you guys should at least have a little bit of, you know, grace for me, hopefully. Lisbon, to recap, was amazing, by the way. So good to see my friends spending some good time together, seeing new countries, and uh, honestly, it's weird, but it feels I feel more accomplished than I expected at all for the fact that I made that goal of getting to more countries than years I am old. That is so cool. And if you didn't catch that yesterday, my mom texted me to remind me that I've been to Jamaica as well. So I've actually been to 33 countries at this point, which gives me some nice buffer. I don't have to worry about it for a while. Although I'm gonna keep trying to get that number up as high as I possibly can. Whew, good group. The kids were hilarious, that was actually really, really fun. And now, I am pretty tired, mostly good. We're meeting on the steps here to have a little bit of a drink and a debrief, but it looks like I might be the first one back, which is strange, because I was pretty sure I wouldn't be, so maybe I'm just missing people. I'll send a text, we'll find out. But either way, whether or not they show up, this is not a bad spot to just sit and chill for a minute before heading back to Paris. And immediately after I sat down, I got a text from Lucas saying that uh, all of our friends have a Versailles meeting. The guys that work for the other company have got a Versailles meeting, so no one's gonna be hanging out having a drink. So I'm headed to the train station now, and uh, we will go from there. about the di uh, 
Oh my gosh. The thing about the diet is how you do it. it. Everybody has their own opinions, their own thoughts on how to do it. I'm sure you guys will be no different. Uh, you'll have your thoughts and opinions, but I did lose about 40 pounds, like I said, in four months, just by counting calories. I use my fitness pal. I keep track of what I eat, and I just try to make sure that I don't eat more than I should. That way I can eat basically whatever I want, just as long as I don't go over my calorie count. Obviously there are even better ways to do it. It's hard since I don't have a kitchen, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try and do my best to keep my calorie count low. I still have about 1,600 calories to eat today. I really haven't eaten very much, but that's the problem is it's always gonna feel like I haven't eaten very much. It's gonna be a hungry, hungry couple of months. I don't really wanna do this, but you know, I gotta. And since we're supposed to be talking about the future of the vlog, I'd like your input on, I think we talked about this yesterday. I'm still in a little bit of a fugue state right now, but um, just thinking in terms of how you guys can get more involved. So I really enjoy the comments, um, the emails you guys send, everything. Like it's really, really fun to interact and to engage about life and the videos, travel, whatever it is that you're interested in. But I'd like to kind of up that ante. And I'm not exactly sure how, whether that's getting you guys to vote on things you'd like to see within Paris, like different coffee shops or restaurants or monuments, that kind of stuff. Or if it's even, you know, talking about where I want to travel next and getting your guys input. I think there's some really fun ways we can do that. And I have some ideas, but I'd like to hear your ideas first. So if you want to think about it, go ahead and leave something in the comments today or tomorrow. Um, you can tweet at me, whatever, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So if we could start a discussion about that in the comments, that'd be really cool because I really enjoy the engagement that we do have already. I feel like there's a lot of comments that go on. I really like to engage in more of a conversation as next year progresses because what I find to be the most fun about vlogging um, what I find to be the most fun about talking with you guys is talking with you guys. It's been really fun to meet other YouTubers and some fans. There are some really cool ways that we could probably continue to up the conversation level, I think, a little bit more. So yeah, you if you guys wanna think about how we can engage more, I'm really up to it. I know that we're thinking about doing like a meetup here in Paris with some other YouTubers that I know. Um, and then, you know, inviting um, people that watch our YouTube videos to join us for that, which I think would be really fun. But for those of you who can't make it to Paris um, or the timing just doesn't work out and you're here at the wrong time, how would you like to engage more? What would you like that to look like? Would you like to vote on what kind of pastry I eat next? Would you like to vote on whether or not I should be allowed to eat a pastry because I'm trying to count my calories? You let me know in the comments below and we'll figure it out from here. I'm gonna leave it here tonight. A uh, nice simple vlog. Sorry, uh, Nick, that this might not be the most exciting of vlogs that I've ever edited, but go back and watch the stuff from Lisbon. It's a lot more fun. And for the rest of you, I will see you again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed, also, the sheer volume of people who watch my videos that have not subscribed to me is staggering. Please do subscribe if you've seen this part. And uh, also, if you could give me a like, I'd appreciate that as well. And I will talk to you again in the very near future.